Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again here on YouTube. I hope you're all doing very well. And um, yes, we continue on this time with episode four of the most obscure wrestling DVD series that I've put together. And um, yeah, I watch obscure wrestling DVDs or shit looking DVDs and, you know, just my opinion though. Yeah, and I give my thoughts and opinions on them. I, I risk watching them so you guys don't have to. And um, I put myself through any possible torture because I don't know what to expect. But always expect the unexpected, as they say. So you, as you've seen in the thumbnail and obviously the title of this uh, fourth ep uh, episode of the series, we have the best of Cactus Jack in Japan, a Wrestle Crate exclusive uh, DVD. Now... WrestleCrate have had a bad reputation of putting out really crap quality DVDs for wrestling. Um, that's just rumours I've heard and hearsay and everything, um, things I've read on the internet and conversations I've had with people or whatever. And yeah, this is the first time I, I've actually sat through and watched a WrestleCrate exclusive wrestling DVD. Let's look at the artwork and uh, the back and the disc and everything, and then I'll go over everything as usual. So, yeah, it's a really cool looking picture, to be honest. Um, well, artwork of Cactus Jack with the Japanese flag there kind of um, blended in. Um, there's the disc. Pretty cool, I guess. Got the Wrestle Crate logo at the bottom there as well. And even though it's a Wrestle Crate exclusive, sorry, there's the spine as well, guys. Even though it's a Wrestle Crate exclusive, it had um, RF Video uh, as the publisher on the menu. I don't know what that was all about because I don't know how all this uh, licensing and everything works. But you know, I just thought I'd add that in this uh, in my notes for you guys as well. So this DVD features the original King of the Death Match champion in some of his most insane matches, featuring matches star, uh, starring, does that say? Yeah, starring Terry Funk, Kenta Kabashi, Leverface, Tracy Smothers, Hiroshi, Ono, and many more. Watch legendary no rope barbed wire death matches from the land of the rising sun. Witness the reason why Cactus is already a legend in this sport by his incredible performances in this video. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that barbed wire going through there. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this DVD pretty much started with a match between himself and Terry Funk they cut a promo on each other before the match as well and it does that throughout the uh, DVD as well guys in between the matches there's promos pretty much up to a certain point which I'll get to later so yeah this is like two hours long and as I said Terry Funk and Cactus Jack kicked off the the first match it it was okay the quality of the camera is kind of debatable again because it's from the early 90s early to mid 90s it's really hard to you know not accept but you know if you're going back to old stuff you know you're going to get bad picture quality and stuff I'm not saying it's completely bad it's not off-putting but not this match anyway but uh it can be, I guess, to some people. Younger people maybe won't appreciate it as much. But if you can get around that, then that shouldn't be a problem. Also, the commentary, when it does have commentary on on the matches, some of them don't have any commentary at all. It's in Japanese. And if you can put up with that, um, if you don't mind that, then, you know, that's cool. Everybody has their own opinion on it. And I wish I knew Japanese to know what the commentators were saying myself personally obviously i don't know japanese but um yeah some people might find that annoying you know but it is what it is but i just try and look past all that anyway and as i say in this match back to this first match it, it was pretty cool and uh yeah it was a like a no rope barbed wire match 
They beat the shit out of each other, as you would expect. For some reason, the the venue, what they were using, had no barricades, so the fans could just pretty much approach the ring if the ring apron if they wanted to, and. Uh, but they were pretty good, some of the fans, to be honest. But when, like, for example, Cactus and Funk were brawling in the crowd, one or two of the fans would get involved. I thought, first of all, maybe they were plants, but looking back at it, like, it, it looked like they weren't. And, you know, and one of them, Terry Funk, got really aggressive with, you know, don't touch me again kind of thing. And I thought to myself, that's absolutely crazy back then not to have a barricade or some sort of security system in place to protect uh, protect the uh, wrestlers as well as the fans, you know. But that's just my opinion on that, guys. But overall, though, the match itself, it was a good opening match for the DVD. Like I said, if you can get around the commentary problem and the p picture quality problem, you should be all right. Next up, uh, Mick, Mick Foley, or Ca yes, Cactus Jack, same person anyway, pretty much, isn't it? So yeah, Cactus Jack was against uh, Kenta Kabashi, and this match was absolutely dreadful. The picture quality for this one, it was so blurred, I just could hardly make out what the fuck was going on, and the, the distance of the camera from time to time was just really hard to just focus on moves and everything going on in the ring. And... To add insult to injury, Cactus Jack, this being his own best of in Japan, and I appreciate you got to lose matches at times, but they picked a match where he pretty much gets squashed by Kenta Kabashi within like two minutes, or maybe just under three minutes. It was very short, guys, honestly, and very poor, very poor indeed. Uh, there were various other matches uh, throughout the DVD as well. I'm not going to cover all of them. I'll just pick a, a couple that stood out to me. There was a tag team match. Cactus Jack teamed up with Leverface to take on Hiroshi Ono and Sho Shoji Nakamaki. I hope I said their names correctly. I do apologize if I, I haven't. In an IWA Japan no rope barbed wire and thumbtacks death match. And that, guys, was probably the best match of the entire DVD. Uh, absolutely painful to watch, but brilliant stuff. Very entertaining, very brutal. Leverface comes through the crowd with a fucking chainsaw, revving it up, sparks coming out, scaring the shit out of a lot of the crowd who are just like freaking out, trying to move out of his way so they don't get cut and, and everything. And I thought to myself, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on there? How did they allow that to happen? You know, <laughs> And yeah, no barricades again, as I said. And yeah, the, the, crowd, the crowd were all freaking out and we had the uh, Leverface coming down and Leverface, yes, the same kind of Leverface in the Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre movies, dressed pretty much the same with the Leverface mask, long wig, uh, big apron, big kind of guy, huge bladed chainsaw, but yeah, wow, he'd rev it up and just scare the shit out of all the crowd. And one of the fans tried to attack him from behind and... Um, he luckily he didn't react like straight away he didn't go and attack the fan back he just turned around but he had the chainsaw in his hands as well and he just kind of looked at him and then the fan got dragged off by someone i think it might have been security or officials or something yeah the, the fan attacked him with a chair but you know they, they got freaked out as i said and he did this before and after the match but anyway enough about leverface him and Cactus Jack made an okayish kind of team, but it was the other two that picked up the victory. And yeah, they they all done ever so well. Very painful to watch, as I said. Very entertaining though. I highly recommend you guys check that one out if you get a chance. If you haven't seen, if you don't get this DVD, I think it might be available on YouTube as well. So I've heard rumors. Another match. That I enjoyed on here was Cactus Jack in another tag team match with the Crypt Keeper against Leverface, yes, Leverface again, and Shoji Nakamaki. 
and we get like a promo at the beginning again with the psychopathic <laughs> Leatherface coming down a flight of stairs with his tag partner revving that chainsaw it just sounds really frightening as well because you can hear it and his partner is there waiting at the bottom of the stairwell and you just hear it revving away and you thought, oh, think to yourself oh my god he's coming down the stairs and yeah he comes down with it and revving it away all the sparks coming out again scary stuff the match itself yeah it was good not as good as that other one obviously but it's still worth checking out the picture quality on both of them as, as well guys i forgot to say um it's tolerable it isn't like crystal high definition for fucking k or whatever <laughs> whatever the terms are for technology nowadays for picture quality I'm not a tech buff, so I don't know what the hell I'm going on about, so I'm going to shut up about that. But it isn't like that. It's VHS kind of quality, I guess. Maybe it's just a little bit shitter than that. I don't know. But it's watchable, and they were watchable and very enjoyable, and I hold both of those matches in high praise, along with that uh, Terry Funk match at the beginning as well. The rest of the DVD starts to go downhill after that then, guys, unfortunately. And we get just random highlights of stuff that doesn't make any sense, doesn't fit in together. Well, I didn't think it did anyway. And it started to kind of remind me of that Rock, uh, Better Than The Rock DVD from episode one. Again, I thought, oh, don't do this shit to me again, please. There's like 40 minutes left or something. And we just get like highlights and cl random clips of stuff. Random Japanese wrestlers, random uh, American wrestlers as well, such as Tracy Smothers and Terry Funk. And then there would be like a few promos and then it cut to something else. Maybe I'm just not looking into it properly um, and there were, it was all connected together, but I didn't mean to be rude about it. But it just felt stupid after that second match, the second tag team match, sorry, when uh, Cactus teamed with Crypt. Crip Keeper, was that his name? Crip Killer, whatever it was. Yeah. It's uh the DVD itself, it's I don't know what to say about it. I think curious fans of Cactus Jack who want to relive some of his uh Japanese matches or want to visit some of his work in Japan, I highly recommend checking it out, you know, because there's some good content there. But there's also some stuff that didn't really need to be in the DVD as well. And if you can appreciate all the um, old picture quality and obviously the no commentary and sometimes Japanese commentary, I think you'll pretty much enjoy this. I'm not going to completely slate it because of like a few negative nitpicks like with the... You know, and I'll keep going on about it, like the quality and everything. And, and obviously, like that part that happened near the end, like the last 40 minutes of just nonsense. But I'll, um, I'm going to be fair about it. And I'm not a fan of uh, Cactus Jack, Mick Foley, Mankind, whatever. He is very entertaining. He was very entertaining to watch, sorry. And I, I do um, recommend checking it out. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I think I can't get any more fairer than that. You know, the presentation with the artwork itself, I, I do like that. As I said, I do like that front cover. It's really cool. And then, obviously, the, the certain matches on there kind of boosts the score a little bit more. So, yeah, definitely add it into your collection. If you're, oh, if you're also into violent matches as well, I highly recommend if you've got, a, like, a light stomach and you can't handle that kind of stuff, then don't go anywhere near this because... There's some brutal, and I mean brutal, stuff that happens in cer uh, certain matches without spoiling them too much. But yeah, 5 out of 10, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen this or is it something you want to add to your collection or if you've ever seen any of the matches I've mentioned. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if I deserve one today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and I'm looking to do... For episode 5, Gomba Not Forgotten, Ladies of Wrestling, uh, followed by Sting Moment of Truth in upcoming episodes. Not going to give you a day of when they're going to be because I keep letting people down 
saying I'm going to do videos one day and then it just doesn't happen because something else happens in my personal life. So you, I'm just going to say that that's my plan for those uh, next episodes for this uh, particular series, guys. Thank you for everything you've done to support the channel, guys. It means a lot to me. Hi to new subscribers. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, I'll be very grateful. Comment below as well if I haven't said that already. Sorry, guys. You all stay safe. You're a wonderful audience. I'll catch you again soon. Goodbye, guys.